Hello, I wanted to make a little video to help you uh, complete your unit one project. <clears throat> and so your unit one project, you're gonna to get to from Canvas. And when you open that up, there are a couple links. The first link is um, for the project description, which is right here. And the what you're going to do is you are going to um, determine the top five to 10 main uses of your time. And some of them could be sleep, work, study, relax, family, et cetera. Once you do that, you can click on my um, spreadsheet that I created and you can print it out if you want to either write on it if you'd like, but you're gonna fill in your categories. So I named my categories down here, um, <clears throat> house, things I have to do at my home, school, uh, sleep, study, fun, kids and reading um, and workout. Those are my important, I've got I've got eight categories. <clears throat> you all might have different categories um, that you're going to fill in. Um, this is just for fun. So then you're going to fill out your schedule. Notice that on the left, it says planned right here. I've highlighted. And then there's an actual. So you're going to do your planned. This is what you're planning to do for the next week. <clears throat> um, then for the next week, you're going to track how you actually spent your time over here on the right hand side. And you're going to fill that in. So for your first submission, you're just going to fill in what you're planning to do for the next week. What does your ideal schedule look like? And then you're going to fill in your categories on the table down at the bottom left and the hours that match up with what you filled in your table. And then once you get your hours in there, they should total to be 168. So you'll see up here, I have a little calculation. I'll show you how to do that. So I want to make sure that my hours add to 168, just like we had in the lesson. I think it was 1.2 or 1.3. To do a calculation in Google Sheets or Excel, you could just put an equal sign. And then I want it to add up all of these columns. So I'm going to tell it to sum. And then I'm going to grab with my left uh, mouse button down. I'm going to grab each of these cells and I'm going to put a right parenthesis around that and it looks like I did that wrong right here I need to do it right here oh okay so right here oh I think it's total So I'm going to total. Right here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put a parenthesis around it. And then when I hit enter, it's, well, I guess it is some. There we go. Okay. So. It's S-U-M, right? You can see it right up here. <clears throat> so when I did that, it says, it confirms that I have 168 hours in my plan because if I didn't plan it correctly, this wouldn't total to be a 168. So that would be an issue. And then um, I want to find out what percent of my week, I'm gonna do a new one of these, is each of these categories. So in percent of week, I'm gonna click on that cell and I'm gonna put an equal sign and I'm gonna say, take my house category hours. I'm gonna click on that 10 and it put B32 as a reference to that cell. And then I'm going to hit divide by 168 and hit enter. And then I'm going to, I want to copy because I want to repeat that same division all the way down. So I'm going to grab in that cell, see where my blue dot is. I'm going to grab that dot and I'm going to drag it all the way down to my last category. So it will create those as well. Now they're already highlighted. So I'm gonna go up to the top here and say, I want this to actually be in a different unit. I want it to be in a percentage unit. And when I click that, it puts them in percents. And now to make sure that I did it correct, my percentages should add up to 100% because all of my information is here. So I'm gonna again do equals, and then I'm gonna do sum, a left parenthesis, and I'm gonna, and it already knows what I wanna do because it's repeating what I did before over on the left. So it will probably just put the cells in for you. 
Now I would like to make a pie graph. So this is all for your first submission. Your first submission, again, is going to be your planned schedule for the next week for 24 hours each day for seven days, and then filling in your hours <clears throat> that match what you have in your calendar above, and then the percentages, and then you're going to grab everything in the category column and the hours column. And then once you've done that, you're going to go up and hit insert and do a chart. And it knew that I wanted to do a pie chart because that's what best matches my data. And then I'm going to put that right here. And if I click on the three dots up to the top right of my in my chart, I can say edit chart. And over on the right of my screen, I would like to do some customizing. I would like to go down to where it says, you can change different things, but I'm gonna change the chart and axis titles. And my chart title, I'm gonna name it, my planned, planned hours. Actually, I'm gonna name it, how I planned my week. Planned week. Okay, <clears throat> and then you can see that the percentages are here. Most of my week is spent sleeping. <laughs> um, I Again, I just made up things um, for my data. So, oh, and I, you know, I spelt week wrong, so I can go in and edit my chart again and go into customize and make sure that I change that because I want that to say week. Okay, um, then you're gonna submit that into the project part one. And that lets me look at it so I can verify that it looks good and that you know how to make the pie graph and that you make know how to make the table. Then throughout the next week, you're going to keep track of how you actually spent your time um, marking with the same categories. And then you can go ahead over here in your first table and you can copy your categories by highlighting them. And you can either right click and press copy or when you highlight them, you can press control C Oops, you can press control C and that copies them. And then in this move over to your actual table and press the first cell and control V will paste those. Then after you have been tracking how you actually spent your time, you can go ahead and put your hours in here. And then again, create your percentage of the week. And then you'll make another pie chart that matches this one and um, I would title it how I actually spent my week. And then uh, you're going to make, so if you go back to the directions, um, that's down in here. Then um, after you've uh, collected your time that you actually spent, you're gonna go down to task three and it says, create a side-by-side -side bar graph of your main categories for planned time and your main categories for actual time. So if I go back here and let's say I did, five and 20 and 90 and zero and 25 and 10 and five and zero. And I better make sure that this adds up and not quite. So I'm gonna do be here in O and then say so actually started, okay. So then I'm going to create, um, I'm going to copy those, oops, I'm going to copy my category. I'm going to start with category and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it down here. And then I'm going to copy my, I'm going to copy my hours and paste them here. And I'm going to put, I'm going to rename the, the, I have to sort them out by planned and actual. So I'm going to rename instead of hours, I'm going to put planned and actual here. And then I'm gonna copy my hours that I spent. And then I can grab everything in these two and I can say insert and I'm gonna do another chart and it's gonna probably do a pie chart. I don't wanna do a pie chart. So I'm gonna actually click on the three dots and say edit chart. And I'm gonna go over to the right here and I'm gonna do the drop down menu and tell it that I want it to do a, a double bar chart. And then I'm going to edit in my customize. I'm going to edit my um, titles up here. And I'm going to say plan versus actual because 
This is comparing the two. And I can see that it looks like I spent more time, um, less time on the house than I thought I was going to. I spent much more time studying than what I planned. And you're gonna use this data here to um, answer question number two. It says, pick one main category and compare your actual time spent to your plan time. So show me the calculation. You can do that all in your spreadsheet if you'd like here. Um, and then you're gonna interpret that in the context of your story. So tell me about whatever category you chose and how the, how the difference was. And then part C says calculate the relative difference showing the work for your calculation. So that's percent, um, the percent de decrease or increase from how you plan to spend your time. Now, um, I want you to use the calculation of planned minus actual divided by the actual for your calculation so that we're all using it the same. And then I'd like you to interpret that relative difference for me. Um, and then the last paragraph is to write a short paragraph describing about um, how your plans compared to what really happened. Was writing a schedule useful? Were you able to follow it? Do you have enough time in your day to have live a healthy, productive life? Do you see any value in a planned schedule? Once you get all that done, um, if you answered it all in the Excel spreadsheet, then you're just going to go up here to the share button and um, you're going to make sure in this restricted here, if it says restricted, do the drop down menu and just say anyone with a link. Um, and then once you share that, just make sure you hit copy the link and then you can insert that into the project. So if you go in here to the projects here, So if I go into unit part one, that's where you're going to turn in when you, your same project, but you're going to turn it in when you've just got your planned work done. And then you're going to go and upload the, the rest of the project here. I'm going to start the assignment. And then if you did everything inside just that Google sheet, you could just click on website URL and just paste your URL right there and then hit submit assignment. And um, there you go. Catch me back if you have other questions.